My chair is sinking. It is March 6, 2018, and we're going to taste some apples out of storage. This is exciting because I have never tasted these two apples out of storage this late because I've never saved enough of them because I'm lame. I have two varieties, Pomo Sanel and Gold Rush. I have reviewed both of these apples in the past. The Gold Rush, I have one out of the fridge, and I have these, which were in a storage building that's just, you know, it's kind of cool in there, and I put them in this wire basket so the mice couldn't get to them, and they've just been sitting in there. The Pomo Sanel are also out of the fridge. I would say right off that these were stored very poorly because I just, Threw them in plastic bags, threw them in the crisper drawer. I remember at one point there was like rotten stuff in the crisper drawer and the bag had fallen open and some of the apples were rolling around in there. I mean, it was bad. Chances are they're going to have quite a bit of what I call refrigerator flavor, which just means that they absorb all the junk flavors in the fridge. Now, some apples don't absorb nearly as much of that flavor as others. Some will just, just instantly, anything around, they'll pick it up and other ones can be stored under these kind of horrible conditions and just, you know, slowly develop a little bit of taint. Anyway, let's taste these. So this is Pomo Sanel. You can watch the review for more about that. This one is slightly shriveled and I can feel it just has a little give, but it has a damage at the cavity, like there's a big cracked opening here. But in spite of that, it's not rotten. It's, there's no, you know, rot creeping out from that spot. This one doesn't have that and I would say it feels just a little bit firmer you know, it really isn't showing signs of wrinkling, and that's good because this variety will actually wrinkle on the tree. Now again, the refrigerator is a higher humidity environment, so it's not going to evaporate as much. This one also has a hollow at the stem where the skin is cracked away from the stem and left kind of a wound there. But again, there's no rot at all. It's tending toward mealy, but it's not offensive, but it definitely doesn't have the cohesive crisp. Um, it's nothing like a mushy, you know, golden delicious or mushy red delicious, but yeah, the, the crisp and the crunch is gone. Flavor wise, number one, this does not taste like a refrigerator and that's remarkable. I can taste a little bit, but not much. I'm pretty sensitive to that. And again, considering the conditions these are stored under that I know about, um, I think that's remarkable. I think that's a huge plus to this apple. It's got plenty of sweetness. It's still got, uh, quite a bit of acidity you know it's definitely balanced it's not like an overly sweet or overly tart apple flavor wise i can still taste the banana flavor prominently i would say the flavors in general have concentrated it's a little more appley than it was like apple flavor i guess i would call it and i would say the flavor is less complex so i would say it's degraded in quality over the last month uh, the last ones i ate were probably three actually maybe even two weeks ago two three but the ones like four weeks ago were actually pretty good. And also keep in mind that I picked this too late. Maybe when it's just got more green to it, but is fully developed, like fully developed inside, fully plumped up, but not totally ripe yet. That's probably when you want to pick this and put it in storage. Okay, Gold Rush is known as one of the best keeping apples. And, you know, a combination of good cultural traits. It grows really well. It's disease resistant. It's productive. I think that it's probably widely adapted, meaning that it would grow in a lot of different climates. I don't know how far north it'll grow, but I believe it's from a northern breeding program, PRI. I think it's from PRI. Okay, you hear that? This is definitely going to be a little crispier. thumbs up. I picked these probably a little late. They still have more crisp than this. They have more flavor, more complexity, more acid. I'd say overall it's a better balanced apple. I would definitely at this point pick this over this, although there were times when I would taste one of each of these because I didn't have that many, but I would take two out at a time and taste them. Sometimes the Pomo Sanel would win and sometimes this would win. So it could be a matter of individuals and when they were picked, where they were growing on the tree, all kinds of stuff like that. Bottom line, right now, this apple is better than that apple. The gold rushes in general are going to store longer, better, keep a better texture because really that's what they're known for. That's its strong suit. There's definitely some spice flavor, like I can feel it or taste it lingering. More refrigerator flavor, unfortunately. But again, these weren't stored carefully. It's not horrible and it probably could have been prevented to a large degree. Excellent. Right now it's not a like top shelf apple, but it's very good for this, you know, out of storage like this. So with these, a couple of them I put in cellophane bags and I just stapled the top. 
to try to keep them a little more humid but they still dried out a lot so we're going to taste this one it's very wrinkly uh, none of these shows any sign of rot in spite of being very wrinkled and basically drying out this kind of reminds me of the way some russet store like golden russet and roxbury russet i think especially roxbury if i remember right but instead of getting mealy they get rubbery and they the flavor concentrates and they can actually be very good especially with cheese excellent excellent thumbs up it's rubbery it's the only way to describe it you can feel it kind of crunch and and give under your teeth and then it kind of starts to break apart but it still breaks apart and the flavor is more concentrated the sugar is more concentrated the acid is maybe reduced a little maybe but it's still there i mean eating this with some really good cheddar cheese or something would be excellent i'm gonna do one more of these this is the smallest one it's the most wrinkled I mean, it's just, look at it. It's just rubbery and soft. If you've ever eaten a dried apple that's dried just enough to keep, but it still has a pretty high moisture content, that's what this is almost like. I could see storing these, quartering them like this, and drying these quarters whole to get just the right moisture content with they still have a little, like some give to them and some moisture in them, but they'll still keep. That could be real interesting, especially if you put some spices on here or something like that. I'm probably going to plant another one of these, like another inner stem tree. Um, I tried to grow a full-size tree, but it didn't make it where I put it. So, you know, this is going to have a place on the homestead and increased, uh, increased presence here. For both of these apples, I would say they have some really valuable genes. This is an incredible keeper. The texture, even though it doesn't necessarily retain the greatest crispness, all the way through without careful storage. Now with the really careful storage, it, it may, I don't know, but the texture is still very good. The flavor is excellent. I, can, I shouldn't do that because I'll break the tip on my knife or bend it. Um, the flavor is excellent and the rubbery texture is great. I, I don't even mind that I can eat it that way. This one is more valuable because yes, it does keep, it doesn't have a tendency to rot, but it ripens in January. So I think that's really cool. I like really late hanging apples. I could see crosses between these two yielding something really good. If I could retain this long hanging thing and inject some of this flavor and improve texture and the improved ability to keep the good texture, I would like to see that. Now in terms of mixing these with other apples, other different apples, again this has the long hanging trait and long keeping and it has nice flavor. Uh, this has long keeping not late it's a it's a fall apple like this should be harvested in october here and then put into storage oh also this has disease resistance while this has performed actually quite well i think this has whatever i have i think it's fire probably just fire blight but something affected this branch very badly and so that's a detractor from this and using those growing seedlings out i mean you you know this has that advantage but i really really like super late hanging apples I don't have very many of them to work with, and this is the second latest apple, considering its other attributes and how good it is off the tree in January and for the next month in the fridge. You know, I've used this just a little bit in doing crosses, but I would like to use it more whether I do that or not, we'll see. So that's the last apple tasting for real for this last season, and I don't think we'll probably revisit these. My guess is that I can eat these in another month and, and they'll be shriveled, but they won't rot, and they'll still be good. But who knows? Um, in the future, I will probably pick them earlier and store them more carefully.